the DYU brand is known for its budget-friendly two-wheelers and the T1 is no different. Currently retailing for just $799 on DYU's official website, it makes a pretty strong case for e-bike enthusiast travelers and e-bike enthusiasts alike. Indeed, on paper its specs are completely impressive, but as with many of these new e-bikes from China, real-world performance can be very different from what's claimed on paper. However, the most eye-catching element of the DYU T1 is its frame, which has a unique design and is made of cast magnesium alloy. Because of this magnesium frame, DYU claims a very reasonable weight of 22.5 kilograms, just south of 50 pounds, while offering an impressive payload capacity of 120 kilograms, 264 pounds. This means it can be very easily folded and carried upstairs, loaded onto a bus or train, or carried in the back of a crossover or SUV. On the performance side, the T1 is powered by a 250-watt rear hub motor and DYU aims to punch above its weight class by equipping it with a torque sensor. Essentially, a torque sensor interprets each pedal stroke and fine-tunes the pedal assist accordingly. Depending on how advanced the sensor is you'll get more natural feeling pedal support compared to a simple cadence sensor. When it comes to battery, the T1 packs a fairly compact 10 amp hour, 36 volt battery pack that's removable for convenient charging. So DYU claims a single charge, pedal assist range of around 34 miles, which is certainly less than other larger e-bikes, but keep in mind that the DYU T1 is intended for urban commuting rather than a sporty touring or mountain bike ride. Its foldable frame, which occupies a compact footprint of 850 by 480 by 780 mm, 33.4 by 18.9 by 31 inches, when folded, lends further credibility to its urban transport status. Other components include a 7-speed Shimano drivetrain and mechanical disc brakes, which should do an adequate job of stopping the bike. Its low price tag makes it easy to forgive the fact that it overlooks hydraulic disc brakes, a feature that's becoming standard even on entry-level e-bikes.